you guys and welcome back to my channel again this is royalty it's been a serious minute since we have not since we have not touched a thing i don't like the fact that i will even crave to be filming and i really have been some issues for some of you who does not know how the sinus can be an impact to my filming it is because my nose gets blocked and my nose gets to be running too much so i can't apply makeup during the time i decided to start with the eyebrows but i did not really apply anything as of yet and i'm going to use the l'oreal paris revital lift they say it's a fast acting serum it's an anti-aging plus extra firming and it's looking like i'm running out of this serum i'm going to see if i can't really apply and to give our face some moist some hydration please never mind my ashy hands it is simply is because i don't like to apply anything on my face after having applied a hand lotion and that is if i remember to really apply a hand lotion while i'm filming i have few things that i got from clicks playground and i would like to showcase few of those i think on my last video i did showcase a girl just doing it stamp and eyeliner is a stamp and eyeliner for people that are struggling to make your wing eyeliner you can use your wing eyeliner stamp which is like this but my first encounter with it i had some serious struggle i'm going to also go for another product which was part of the clicks playground this is the body shop eden ways concentrate liquid it is enriched with natural and origin peptides and i'm just going to then apply on my face and i think most of the product that i received from the clicks playground i really have been loving them there are the things that as soon as some of them are finishing i will not hesitate honestly to go get some for myself and for the well-being of my skin most of the skin products i really loved everything even though trojina face mask i had some sort of reaction to it throughout the week i was breaking out but after that the breakout just went away now my mouth is so ashy as well so let me handle the stress while we are still busy with handling the ashiness the product i'm going to use today it is the product that you will get in your makeup bag as a beginner or someone is starting out with makeup and by the way please never mind my my lights they are misbehaving this morning i have made a new setup this morning and i'm hopeful that everything else is okay in this new place of filming in today's tutorial I'm, I'm going to showcase the things that should be in your makeup starter kit if you are someone that is starting out with makeup these are the things that you need as someone that is starting out you don't need a whole lot of products don't do the things the way i did some of the things that i was having was inclusive of highlighter bronzer blush different colors of blush and by the way in your makeup starter kit these are the things that you will be using that will really be cost effective for you and that will really save you some some changing sister so let's go right ahead and i think the first thing please never mind my seat i'm using the city that i'm not always using so um, it's making a lot of noise and it is irritating me i'm going to use this eyeshadow palette it is from la again and they said is i got carried away and i don't know where exactly the, my camera actually stopped so the first that i'm going to apply is this transition shade eyeshadow with a fluffy brush i'm going to go to the eyeshadow spirit free spirit and i'm just going to apply and please be warned for anybody that is starting out with the beginners these eyeshadows are very pigmented but i would say you better go to the eyeshadows that are pigmented because you know that you don't need really need much of the eyeshadows than if you are to find the eyeshadows on which you will not even see where your money went and again it is one of the products that you can always think that is high end it's named to be an affordable makeup range but to me it's affordable for somebody else it might be cheap because this actual product was about 300 rand and i think for somebody else who does not have many commitments for their changing my cons are really being committed to many places so i find this to be qualifying of affordable eyeshadow palette not the cheap eyeshadow palette the next eyeshadow i'm going to apply is the eyeshadow comet and i'm just going to apply from the outer corner blend into the eyeshadow free spirit I'm going to blend the two together i'm right closer to the window and that way the weather is not really stable and i think it is distracting my camera because my camera can easily pick up when the sun goes out 
and when it comes back in and that way it is messing up my, my tutorial okay so i'm just going to apply this eyeshadow going to the eyeshadow limitless it's a deep brown color i'm just going to apply right on my outer corner and i'm just going to leave it there not going to take it too far i'm not going to leave it doing the same thing on this other eye with the eyeshadow limitless just going to place it and leave it I'm going to go for all my eyeshadow, but it's been a while since I've applied makeup, so I'm going to run to my shimmer eyeshadows. I love my shimmers. Excuse me, I love my shimmer eyeshadows. I'm going to go to the eyeshadow golden Club. It is a shimmer eyeshadow, and I'm just going to apply right to the eyeshadow limitless. It's going to, to place it like this. Sweet Jesus! Like I said, it is crazy pigment. I love, 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 love this golden bronze orangish eyeshadow and i feel like i should apply it right through and just highlight it with another shimmer i will see which eyeshadow to highlight it but it's a beautiful eyeshadow to apply on its own it really isn't needing any assistance it's strong as it is by itself my sister but i'm thinking i should put you a little bit closer i think you are close enough let's try to continue and apply this eyeshadow it's too beautiful it makes me want to share some tears the manner in which is so beautiful and pretty it's making me too emotional right now but then i'm going to use this eyeshadow highlight just to go in to make a highlight and bring it to my inner corner and just highlight the inner corner it's like some witchcraft i performed on it the manner in which it's so pretty and beautiful i'm going to go then to the eyeshadow lumi and apply it on my closer to the inner corner just to transition the two because i could see that they were making a hash line so now i am transitioning them not too much then i'm applying highlight on the inner corner just to highlight this area and i gotta be honest i love how this eyeshadow is i love 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 it the next best thing for me will be to apply my eyeliner liquid eyeliner it is from essence is a liquid eyeliner if I have to be honest with you, I don't think I need to make a wing eyeliner even though I wanted to use the stamp again. My first attempt was struggling enough. I don't need to be struggling too much. And by the way, these are the products that I will swear by. These are the products that I don't make a mistake of not using. And then I'm going to use Laura Paris Infallible Modern Concealer. I'm going to clean out my eyeshadows and because I did not make a wing, I made a soft end. That's going to okay. This is a beautiful clean. So I always clean my eyeshadows like that. Even when I've applied a wing eyeliner, that is how I end up doing. Then the next thing that I'm going to then do is to apply my eyelashes. And the eyelashes I'm going to apply they are from Alea. I just forgot the style in which these eyelashes were. So I'm just going to quickly pop them and I have applied my dual glue and used the transparent glue <laughs> eyelash is in i'm going to try and apply the other one before the glue gets to be too dry because it's almost drying out just going to quickly install this yes. place it from the inner corner but the good order of applying your eyelashes is to start from the outer corner so that you can see how you apply to your length and by the way my take lashes shed some few hairs and that way they don't look as full as they should. I'm going to use Essence Flexible Maximum Definition Mascara, and they said it's waterproof. Just going to apply a little bit because I've already put on my lashes. I don't think this was a necessary step because my eyelashes, my natural lashes, are not showing. I think it's necessary before you apply your eyelashes to always apply your mascara because sometimes mascara can destroy your fake lashes. But I don't advise people to use them fake lashes once and always advise you to reuse them let me then go ahead and push it back i'm just going to wipe my hands you should be up wiping your hands and removing the fall offs of your eyeshadows if your eyeshadows were falling off the way mine did somebody can even ask the question can you really reapply some of the products that you applied before i would say please do go ahead and apply as you wish but I would advise you to never miss out on applying your primer again if you happen to remove it after you have removed the follow-ups of your eyeshadow. So I want to look beautiful today and I have 
two foundations from L'Oreal Paris. Okay. I have not yet applied my prima and I think it was a good time for me to continue by applying. I've not applied a prima so I am now fully and officially applying my prima and I think I hope you loved it. Woohoo! Some things. Oh my god. Okay. I think I know what is it in here. Okay. I think the body shop is not going hand in hand with this prima. I was not supposed to mix the two. Okay. Let me deal with this and I will I will be your mind. And you guys after a disappointment from the body shop product of running off when it touches with my real Paris inflatable prima that I think we are we are fair to go ahead. You guys like I mentioned that I have two foundation in which I don't know which to use. I've been using this on an everyday basis because now lately I'm having some issues with the skin. The only issue I'm having is that my skin is now drying out a bit, not too much. Remember, I'm not the dry chick. I'm a normal to oily skin, but mostly oily. So I've been battling lately to keep this area to really not being affected by dryness because it was now becoming a little bit dry and I'm scared of tasting few products on the market. I'm on cloud and I was expecting a lot of shading, like really expecting a lot of shading. And then like I said, I'm going to use one of these foundations. This one is a natural fresh finish. And this one is a full coverage matte. They're both full coverage. And I'm going to apply half and half so that anyone that wants to go to this one, because I used to use this one when I had a very oily skin and lately sister, that is not the same. Things have changed on my face, things have changed in my life aging i guess because you can't keep using products that are too matte on your face when you are no longer a certain age and by the way you guys i'm staying in a township so it is expected that in the township there will be a lot of noise especially during the day because i can't feel it late the low shading nowadays is the reason why i'm feeling somehow so and then on this other side i'm going to apply maybe one to two pumps and i'm going to try and use the brush i used to just brush to remove the peel off so i'm somewhat scared to going back to it to use it so i'm going to go ahead and use this brush just to blend this foundation on this side for you to see in the difference between the two formula because sometimes we think we are just purchasing and paying for the packaging and not the product as such i'm doing this video also to make someone that wants to transition from a certain formula to another to really see the difference the colors are the same the colors are both copper and then i'm using this metal on this side it dries up too great and it's a full full coverage I think part of me think I should have used different applicators or different brushes but now the other brush was now accidentally being dirty from removing the peel or the rubbing off of the body shop product so I think they are both equally full coverage but this side is a slightly softer this side is too mad but let's see what happens as we apply and since the load shading is going to be late at night maybe after an hour i may come back on camera just to show you how it's looking after an hour which side is looking like what i think i used to envy people that were using the soft matte foundations the ones that are using the nuts i used to really envy them because now i was having an issue oh my god let's see what will happen should I mix the two or should I mix the two? But I don't know. Mix this. So, we're using the same. And nowadays, you guys, I don't really like to highlight my chin. Because sometimes it gets to be too light. Because I end up highlighting as well with my highlighter. And I think I love both formulas. But if you can see, you know, guys, from the look of things, this side was easily blendable because it's soft matte. And this side, it is like too matte. It really is mattified. So the blending with the highlighting concealer 
is not as easy as on the other side. We're just going to highlight my cupid's bow as well as my chin. Use the residual from your highlights and not apply a fresh product. And if you can, as well, like like blend your products aside then bring it to unlike applying it directly she said that method is somewhat outdated but i still love it it may take some time for me to transition but I definitely i'm going to transition and really be up to date do the things that are trending and happening around me for my translucent powder i'm going to my regular this is the only regular thing i use and I use it most to my, you know, all of my clients, I use it, whether you are light in complexion, whether you are deep, whether you are medium like I am, I always use it. I always use this translucent bear. It used to be translucent, but now they say it's translucent bear, so I'm just going to apply and set. I think for me, I love this formula more than this formula. I used to fall for it, I used to die for it when I was having a very shiny face. Then I'm setting my forehead as well. And you guys, as you can see, this translucent powder is really is doing a beautiful work on my face. And it's really is magnifying my face because I still think that I'm still leaning on to think that one day my face will go back to being very, very oily like it used to. Part of me is still in denial that things have changed with my my face. I'm no longer one of the oily people. I'm now leaning towards being dry. All right, now you guys, we are continuing and I'm going to go to this palette with, I think it has everything that you could ever need from an eye palette. You have your highly pigmented blush that is super pink. And then you have a, a sort of baby pink or sweet pink. And then you have your bronzer. I'm going to use a bronzer possibly I may not be using the blush because the way my face is looking but it has a mirror oh my god it has a small mirror in it I'm in it for it and I'm going to then apply the bronzer and I don't know you guys but this bronzer on the palette it looks like it is more neutral but it is slightly rich it's the way I like a bronzer to be it is very much sun kissed and giving you the sun kiss effect i i think i saw a range in the store for the sun kiss glow bronzer but i think when i was looking at them i thought they were too deep they look more like for the deep skin i could not find my shade not that i could not find my shade. i did not even attempt to find my shade i couldn't attempt really honestly like truthfully i could not attempt to find my shade because when i went to grab this palette i wanted to go and buy other things from elega and then i realized that they were giving away this makeup bag therefore i wanted to grab few things and then i took this palette which in return it had me having this makeup bag that i would be using as my travel makeup but it's too pink it needs someone that really is the quickest clean person ever if you are just like me a normal girl that doesn't like to wear white clothes pink clothes i'm sure you have noticed by now that i lean more into deep colors i don't lean more into the lighter colors because i know myself let's let's just say i know myself i know there are things that i really cannot enjoy as much as other people can i can't wear anything white and really have a blessed day i don't spill a lot but i don't like to keep checking on myself to see if everything is still intact and now that i'm holding this this face palette a part of me think i should go ahead and apply the blush i don't know but i think for my skin tone this will be too light and this will be the best fit for me but I'm not going to apply too much because my eye color is looking somehow. I'm just going to apply a very minimal, small amount. This is what I'm going to apply. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it at this. I think I have applied more than enough. That way, 
it takes us to another thing on this very same please never mind my hands they are so powdery because i always tap my powder on my hands so i apply i mix things i tap powder i mix concealers i mix my foundation i mix a lot of things on this feet because i don't have those fancy things that the makeup artists use i don't have so and i'm going to apply this highlighter the first time i applied it i was taken away because i thought it was not as good and pigmented as it was i like the fact that it's too soft anyway and i'm going to draw away with the nose bridge highlight so that i can apply my nose bridge highlight I'm going to go ahead and apply this highlighter on my nose bridge just to highlight my nose bridge like that and that is it and the tip of my nose Ooh, it looks like tensant and taking this flat brush I'm going back to this eyeshadow palette and I'm going back to the eyeshadow limitless I'm just going to apply it right here and not taking it too far because I don't want it to close my eye okay just going to apply it back here and leave it right there because I don't want it to close my eyes. Just going to take my skin tone shade powder, tap it again here and just apply it under my jawbone and go back again and apply it under my jawbone. And to do away with the small line as well even though i don't see it being too much today i don't see my smile line being too much maybe it is because i have used the right formulas of products and i'm taking my at least skin tone shade powder and the shade is caramelized i'm just going to bubble over my face and set my face i think i should go apply my lower lash mascara i came back but i came back with another essence mascara i'm just going to apply and make my and get myself a fake lash effect but like honestly you guys these are uh, these few things that you need for your makeup bag as a sort of makeup applier and a beginner makeup applier or beginner makeup person so all right you guys let me go ahead and use my my yatli london three in one makeup setting spray and it's a setter it's a refresher because of the quality of of the memory card i'm using when i'm filming it is as why my camera stops each and every 12 minutes because when it reaches a certain limit oversize it's it switches off so it wants me to to keep my and to keep my eyes on my monitor which i think i'm forgetting lately simply because it's been long since i filmed and i'm officially embarrassed it would be a good thing for me to highlight my cupid's bow because I did not highlight it because I was hoping that I was gonna have to do what I'm doing and I think it's a good thing that I make you aware of this because I was not aware I was not aware that these two things they are different this is a lip liner when I went to buy it I thought it was an eyebrow pencil and this is an eyebrow pencil and the shade is brown and this one the shade is chocolate so i used this one to do my eyebrows but now i'm going to use this one for my mouth just to outline my mouth into really i like this brownish color it is good for fall because it, right now we are in the month of march i should get my eggs together this was the last time but my health was becoming a priority because i had to I had to wait for myself to be in good health for me to even appear in front of him. I didn't want to come to you looking like a hot mess because I was so sick having runny nose, sneezing, having flu every other week. So my life was now becoming an issue. And by the way, you guys, this that I'm using, I don't like the color. Mm -mm. I don't like this color. These are the liquefied stylo, they are non retractable once you turn it up it does not come back so you need to be careful as you turn it up and actually you guys when i went to the store i actually came with three of these and this one is in the color lingerie and this one is in the color corset Woo! and this one is in the color teddy 
so i think right now i should go to 10. it's like this it's like this when you open it up going to just yeah. now let's try and see concert mm, but i think this lips are fine let me show you how this is looking so that i can come back after an hour and show you how i'll be looking after one hour it is 12 35 i'll be coming back at 18 35. all right you guys i'm back again and it is not an hour i changed my lipstick because i helped myself in the kitchen and i cooked i spent some time more than an hour and by the way the reason why i rushed back to show you what this look is like after let me check let me check how many minutes this is after two hours it's about 14 in two hours so the look is still intact and if you love this look with this lipstick please give me the thumbs up and also if you love this look with the first lipstick give me and leave me a comment down below and let me see you on my next video and this is your girl royalty signing off